I say last year we had some confidence, but definitely I'm um, coming off of a, a, a pretty good season, and I'm having a, a great um, off-season conditioning. And it's just everything is taking a step um, up. I think the um, expectation and the standard has been risen. I think every it's, it's supposed to rise, and um, it's been it's been risen. Has this team been easy to lead? No, no, definitely not. Especially with some guys coming in in January, some guys coming in um, a month and a half ago, and um, you know, it, it's definitely not. It's, I wouldn't say easy at all. You got a lot of different personalities in, but it's it's a, it's a challenge. But it's something I embrace. People are picking you guys as a, uh, a team to, to watch in the East and maybe a contender for the SEC title. Um, are, are you comfortable with that label? Yeah, um, expectations. They, you know, that's the expectations of other people. Um, I guess I can say um, what I can control is leading the team, and um, we came to Tennessee for for that reason. And that's something we, we're not blind to it. We know it's, we know it's being talked about, but our job is just get ready for the season and take it one game at a time. Nashville first. Kurt, what, what said that you guys had kind of have to prove it this year with some of the expectations and the hype? Do you feel like this team has the kind of the makeup to to prove it to, to you know kind of take the next step? Yes, definitely. With um. Then we have pretty mature, we have a pretty mature team um, with a lot of guys returning, and um, like you said, um, I think I think we got definitely do. We're not gonna sneak up on anybody, that's for sure. And, um, we got older guys like we got Randolph, you know, in the secondary. We got Cam Sutton, you know, we got Ray, Reeves, Maven, um, Barnett, myself, um, O'Brien. Our offense is loaded, so we got, we got a lot of weapons. We just gotta keep everybody together and keep that same vision. It's more fun to go into the season when you feel like you got more toys to play with, kind of. I oh mean, yeah, you know, it's always fun to play football. I know, but I mean, yeah. going into a season like this, does it feel a little bit different? Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's um, now now you're talking now you're not just talking about scheme. You're trying to figure out what's the, what's the next level. What, how can we how can we um, maximize our potential even more as a defense? Um, because we know we're all on the same page. We all know each other well. We all understand the system. Now let's take it a step further. So it's it's, it's exciting, but um. It's definitely something we all we all excited for. Do you, do you enjoy your role in the defense still? Has it grown even more? I mean, I know that you're a guy who pretty much knows what everyone's doing most of the time, but I mean, yes. are, do you have even more opportunities than you would have last year to, to do some things? I'm thinking my role will pretty much be about the same, and in the sense of just um, playing defensive end, outside linebacker when it, when it's needed. But um, also, I think my role in um, being a leader has picked up even more with AJ gone. So that's um, talking from the linebackers, and I think Maven's been doing a good job with that. But um, from the linebackers to the defensive line, with the new guys, Shy Tuttle, Khalil, um, KP, all those guys, just making sure we're all on the same page and all got the same vision. How much have you changed maybe physically from, from last year? I know you were a little dinged up in the spring, but how much yeah. have you changed physically? Um, I've, I've been trying to keep my weight under 250, 253. So I've been, I've been feeling good, though, yeah. Curry mentioned Khalil and some of those guys. What's, what's that about him since he got here? Obviously, he comes in yeah, a pretty he, high building. Yeah, he's a big dude. He got his calves like he's huge, man. He, um, big guy, and um, I can see he's he hungry to learn. And um, anytime I tell him somewhere, anytime we talk, eye contact, ears open. So it's some something, something you can respect. Kurt, the coach talked about bringing you three guys, about you guys being leaders for this team. Talk about the importance of that and what it means to you to lead Team 119 going into this season. I mean, it's very important. And like, like Coach said, I'm grateful for the opportunity to come um, represent the university and all my teammates. But um, it's it's good. Um, me leading Team 119 is is pretty much what I came to Tennessee for. And I um, had the opportunity to change change the culture and turn the program back around. And uh, I think this season we got a great opportunity ahead. What about uh, representing the balls here at SEC Media Days and your expectations for being out there with all the media and everything? Can you repeat that? Be the expectations, being here at SEC Media Days and what it means. Uh, that means a lot. And like I said, it's, I'm grateful for the opportunity to come and represent everybody. And um, I'm going to do the best I can. I'm going to smile big and answer every <laughs> question with some pride. And, I know my uh, teammates back in, back in Knox watching them, my family as well. You know, Coach, Coach Jansen talked about getting bigger, stronger, faster. Have you seen that this offseason from this defense? Definitely, definitely. Um, that's something Coach Lawson, he's, he takes great pride in his job. And um, if he if he feel like he, he did something wrong, he won't sleep at night. And that's something you got to respect. And um, 
I think we've had a great offseason, and I'm um, starting with those guys, Coach Jancic, um, me and Coach Lawson, um, Coach Sershin, Coach, Coach um, Miles, all those guys. They push us every day. So. How much closer is this team than, than, than you were a, you know, a year ago? I mean, how, how yeah. much, I mean, I knew you guys felt like you were pretty close in that last year. How much different are you? Um, that's pretty hard to say just because, you know, last year so far away and you feel like you were so, so close at that time. But now I, f I feel like we got a really close team. And now I don't think it's just position groups. I think like our, like our whole defense is mingling and we all hanging out. And um, we all know each other. We all understand each other just because we've had a year, two, sometime three uh, years together and playing together. So I think I know, um, I know we're, we're a real close-knit team. And um, I think we're melting instead of just defense and just offense. I think we're melting together as a uh, um, whole team. What did you tell Josh and Cam on the ride down about what media day is like since you've been here? <laughs> I just told them it's a long day, man. It's, it's going to be a long day, but it's going to be a lot of fun. Just embrace it and um, have fun with it. And yeah, just just have fun. Is it weird that you're kind of in the veteran role now yeah. going into the season? Yeah, um, time fly. And I remember when I first got here and I was looking at guys like Herman Lathers and Austin Johnson. And um, now it's my turn, you know, so. I'm grateful, man. Just they made it this far. How much so different do you feel mentally? I mean, we've talked for the last two years about injury bugs and everything else. Yes. I mean, how does it feel coming into a, a full off season where there's not a question mark about some part of your body? There's not a question mark about you physically now. How does yes. it feel? Feels good. Feels great, actually. Um, my goal is to just start start the season off as healthy as possible and go as fast as I can and do the best I can for the team. So. Um, yeah, it's, it's a great feeling. How does it make you feel when a player from another team says that beating Tennessee has become a tradition? Yeah, that's <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> but um, I can't control what another team says. <laughs> but um, I know um, I know we take great pride in every game we play, and um, definitely um, SEC game, SEC opponents. So um, I know me being a leader, uh, we'll we'll be ready for the first game, and then when that game's over, the next game. So. Thank you. Uh, I think it's just consistency, and um, I, I have great pride in my my performance, and I'm, I'm very passionate about football. So I tell my teammates all the time, I'm gonna push you, push you hard, and um, they know if I tell them anything, is it's for the greater good of the team, and um, it's nothing selfish at all. So I, I think my guys respect that. What's the biggest hole that this defense might have or biggest challenge they might need to overcome? I would say probably just with us being a little bit young, um, just some new guys and whatnot, but I don't know. Um, it's a good question. I would say probably just that outside talk, that preseason this, preseason that. Um, just go out and play football like we know we can do. I think that would be our biggest challenge, just focusing on that one task at a, at a time. You mentioned youth. Do you see any player that could be quickly become a leader, maybe a freshman who takes a leadership role, just a mature one? Mm, it's hard to say. Um, once once fall camp get the role in there, once we get to get more into it, I think that that will develop over time. Like um, around this time last year, um, Barnett probably wouldn't been labeled as um, a potential freshman leader, but by the third, fourth, fifth game, you know what I mean? He he grew into that role a lot, and um, I think he, I think we just got a little bit of time to see. Two more questions. So far, how did last year more. measure up to the expectations you had for yourself, and how does last year's results change this year's expectations? Um, last year's results is is a lot different um, from being on the team than from being out, out, not on the team and looking from the outside in. I can say um, we we went through a lot of adversity, um, a lot of challenges, um, a lot of injuries, and just like adversity throughout the whole season. So for us to um, pull out a couple games and go to a bowl game and win that bowl game, it's just it's a great feeling. And so um, that momentum we took off of that last game, that last win, we took it through the offseason and everyone's excited. And uh, I think that's just going to, we got a taste of what it, what, it, what it feels like and what it looks like to get a bowl victory. So. Kurt, if you told the guys about going through Radio Row, they're all said you gave them advice, Cam and Josh, what'd you tell them? But the, um, what you got, getting ready to go through down there. Yeah, just have fun, and um, it's going to be a long day. It's going to be a long day, and just have fun and smile big in every interview and just enjoy it, embrace it. 12, 13 Last different question. rooms you got to go through. And yeah. Is it, is it a message you get old, or is it you keep it constant of the Tennessee football moving back and we're on the rise? Yeah, definitely. Um, we're here for a purpose, and um, I'm, I'm, I'm here to have fun, and I'm definitely here to represent Tennessee the best of my ability. So, um 
every interview is very important.